Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah, peace and blessings be upon you all. Uh, my name is Ibrahim Saeed, I'm the project lead at the Whittle Dean Centre. Now, today uh, we are beginning our campaign to um, help um, people in our community who are suffering from food poverty. So what we've done is we've got um, some food packages and we've got some volunteers and we are um, helping those who are in need of food. Um, so in line with that, we seek to serve the community here in Whittle. That's excellent. And then obviously today we're, we're handing out food. I believe you've done soup kitchens and, and food banks in the past. Is that correct? Um, we haven't yet done soup kitchens. Okay. Um, um, what we are, we are a, a, a registered um, collection point for okay. food bank and we've um, contributed to the wider food bank project. Okay. Um, now, what we uh, are keen to do is work with other grassroots level organisations like churches and other charities yeah. and, and do work um, with them directly. Okay. Um, so that's, that's the next phase. Like people paint out on, on tellies and stuff like that, you know what I mean? That, like Muslims are bad people and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So you need a lot of things and it's basically, it's not it, it's not true what, what people say. You're just normal everyday people just like me and them, you know what I mean? Just what, what, what needs to be put across. Yeah. You no know, to the people, like look at today, do you know what I mean? Going, going down, giving them meals and that, stuff like that. And it's a really good thing, we can help you, just a couple of people. You know, it, it, it makes a difference in, in the world. People have asked me, what's this place going to be? And, and I'm trying to say, well, it's a community centre, come mosque, you know, and then everyone's welcome to come through the doors and that, you know what I mean? And then once they know about like that it's a community centre and it's going to do good for the community and stuff mm. like that, everyone's like trying to say, well, when's it opening and things like that, you know what I mean? Mm. I'd say, come down and just have a look for yourself, you know what I mean? And then you'll soon see as you get talking and stuff like that, and they're just normal everyday people. Bob. Bob. Yeah. Ibby. Ibby. Yeah. Right. Here you go, right. I used to be a coach driver years ago. Did you? I used to take a lot of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, I never did. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to get a bottle of water as well? Oh, no, no, I don't need water. Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's have some fruit. Yeah. 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 No, no, I don't need apples, no, thank you. Right. Thank you very much. You don't want the water to wash it down? I'm positive, thank you. I don't drink very much, believe it or not. <laughs> right. All right, mate. Okay, thank you. Thank you, all the best. Okay, all the best now, thank you. Bye. Um, name's Bob Lloyd. I've just come down to get some food from the Wirral D Centre. Very, very uh, appreciated. Uh, very hard times at the moment. Being unemployed and nowhere really to live. I used to be a coach driver, right. uh, up and down the country, holidays abroad. Um, unfortunately, work dried up. Yeah. Uh, people started the company where I was working for went out into liquidation. So that was that. That was yeah. that. <laughs> Um, one key thing that we are interested in is looking after elderly members of our community. It was just this morning that, you know, after after prayers, we seen an elderly gentleman who lives just two doors up from the from the uh, centre, um, and you know he's he's in his 80s and he lives alone and he's very lonely, and you know we just kind of do our part to bring those members of our community in and kind of yeah. you know see if we can help them in any way can we help them with the shopping can we provide tea parties for them can we set yeah. up a games club uh, so that's that's one thing that we are keen to, to start yeah. we're also looking at a, a scouts um, group okay. which is open to everybody but you know focuses on the, the, the core values of our faith as well yeah, yeah. Um, that's so that's another thing that we're trying to do with the youth um, and on that we're, we're teaming up with the Birkenhead scouts um, organization as well right another thing that we're trying to do is around um, education and um, okay. so we are uh, we've trialed a homework club um, and okay. but we, that's something else we're looking into as well so okay there's lots of lots of exciting projects going on fantastic, and, fantastic and to be honest we're very open and if anybody is you know interested to work with us and they've got some ideas of what we could do yeah and um, then you know we, we really do welcome them my name's Kirsty. I work for Whittle Ways to Recovery, a drug and alcohol um, service in Whittle. I'm a homeless outreach worker 
I'm here today to support the Dean community who set up a day to feed homeless and vulnerable people in the area. As an outreach worker, it's my job to go out into the community and offer support and, and interventions to clients who are rough sleeping or yeah, who are yeah. using the streets as a resource. The Wirral's got some fantastic services that yeah. if you were a transient homeless person from a different area, you wouldn't know what's available to you. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's my job to come out and tell you what's available to you. In this day and age, there doesn't have to be people sleeping rough. Yeah. There is night shelters, there's hostels, there's supported housing. Um, and you know, and if we can't get you anywhere on the Wirral, Liverpool's a city, we can get you somewhere there as well. So yeah, there's yeah. plenty of help for people. Uh, my name's Jalal, I, I grew up in Crosby. I've been in uh, Birkenhead for the last three years. And I think um, this is probably one of the biggest journeys we're actually going, you know, coming across, mm. um, trying to make a difference yeah. and trying to raise awareness. I mean, I, I, um, I'm always in and out of Liverpool and around you know, town centre. Yeah. And I see it. A lot of homeless, which you know, as you know, uh, Kirsty was saying, yeah, yeah. Was saying, it's not something that should be happening today. Yeah, yeah. But every little that we do can make a difference. In this day and age, yeah. um, we have um, potentially a very hostile um, representation of different groups within communities, Indeed. and we're very keen to work on a grassroots level um, to bring people together. Yeah. And you know, I was just saying when we were doing the briefing this morning about the, the food distribution, we were saying that for a lot of people that we're going to be working with today, mm -hmm. it may well be the first encounter they've had with a, a Muslim person. Yeah. So in essence, it's around strengthening those relationships and building those bridges, yeah. and, and showing people that you know we're all people. Doesn't matter. You know, does, it doesn't matter about color of skin or religion or faith or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, we're all humans and, and we live together in a community and we're all members of one community. Thank you very much. Thank no you. No problem. Thank you.